Hi all, in this tutorial we will be discussing the solution of finding minimum element from stack. So let's get started. So let's say when we have a list of elements that we want to insert into stack. So those elements are 10, 5, 20, 12 and 2. So these are the five elements which we want to insert into stack and also want to maintain the minimum element into stack. So right now as per this list we have minimum element into this list is 2. But when we are performing, uh, when we will perform the pop operation into stack and when we delete this element, so the next uh, I can say uh, minimum element should be this 5 right. So our, uh, our logic should extract this element as a minimum element uh, from the stack after deletion of this element, right? So let's see how we're gonna uh, do that. So for that, we're gonna uh, create two stack here. The first stack will be take the original stack, which will be taking care of uh, uh, all the records, right? So this will be original original stack right and another one will be your minimum stack which will be storing the element minimum element into the stack min stack so uh, this is the first element which we want to add into stack so in original stack we'll be keep adding the element uh, without any uh, performing without performing any check right so let's say this is the first element which we directly add into stack but uh, as it is a first element in minimum stack also we, we're gonna add the same element as it is now when it comes to the second uh, element so in the original stack we're gonna add uh, this second element directly but while performing the add operation uh, push operation into the minimum stack we're gonna check whether the element which we are trying to insert which is 5 is lesser than the element which is already there in the stack which is nothing but 10 yes it is lesser than then we're gonna add uh, this 5 into minimum stack but if it is greater than let's say in this case in the third element uh, this third element is greater than the uh, top element of the minimum stack in that case we won't be adding this element into this stack we will be just adding into here right so when it comes to the another element which is nothing but 12 so 12 also will be directly adding into original stack but here we're gonna check the condition whether this 12 is less than 5 or not 5 is nothing but top element of minimum stack right so this condition is uh, false right so uh, we won't be adding this 12 into minimum stack now when it comes to the last element so in original stack we're gonna add the element as it is and uh, in the minimum stack we will be checking whether this 2 is less than 5 or not because the top element is 5 yes it is less than then we're gonna add this uh, 2 in minimum stack as well right so this is uh, in case of uh, adding element into stack same case is applicable for uh, performing the deletion operation operation on stack so let's say when we are deleting the element which is nothing but a top element from the uh, stack so when we deleting this right so in that case uh, <coughs> this is a top element so we need to sync both of the stack uh, at the same time when we are deleting two from here two is also available here so before deleting we have to check whether this element is exist in the minimum stack or not yes it is exist so delete this two from both of the both of the stack right so it will looks like this now when you uh, call uh, get minimum stack operation in that case your stack should be able to return this element as a minimum element uh, of the stack right so the same in the same case when you're when you're going to perform the another operation uh, 
of pop well, let's say when you are removing 12 from this list from this tag so before removing we will be checking whether 12 is present here or not it's not present then directly you can delete from this tag right and likewise let's say we have we can perform the delete operation on this also and on this also so 5 is present in this tag but we don't know whether it is present or not so we're gonna check whether this 5 is present or not yes it is present then remove 5 from here as well and then your minimum stack value should be 10 right so this is uh, the this is how we're gonna implement this uh, by using taking the help of extra uh, stack right so let's see how let let's start it with the backend implementation now so we're gonna write method of uh, int push which will be expecting integer type of element right and uh, another operation is nothing but uh, peak which won't be expecting any input parameter and another one is uh, a push peak and pop delete deleting the topest element of the stack and another is the main thing which we need to perform is uh, int in element all right so this is also a v noag method all right now let's implement the push operation but before that let's create a stack stack of integer as we are performing the operation on integer values so we're going to create uh, this generic of stack of integer type so th the first one will be original stack right and then new stack same will be there for uh, minimum stack right minimum stack now the first operation is push operation right so we're gonna check whether this push is this element uh, element is nothing but yeah so we're gonna check whether as it is a first element right we have to check as we discussed right if the first element which is nothing but 10 we are going to add in this stack but it should be there here also because we are going to compare as it is a first element we will be adding directly in both of the stack so if the minimum stack dot is empty or uh, element is lesser than the minimum stack sorry min stack dot peak now what we are trying to what i'm trying to do here is i'm checking whether the element which i am trying to add let me go back again i'll show you okay so let me clean this out okay uh, so in first case we will be directly adding 10 as it is now we are going to add 5 so in original stack i'm adding 5 as it is right directly without any uh, uh, verification but here we have to perform this check also whether this the element which we are trying to insert is lesser than the uh, existing main stack element or not which is nothing but 10 if it is true in in that case only we're going to add element into this stack otherwise we won't be doing right so 5 is less than 10 that's why we have added it in case of 20 20 will be greater than 5 so we won't be adding that element into main stack we will be just adding into this original stack so like same operation we are trying to perform here if the element which you are trying to insert if it is less than the main uh, top element of minimum st minimum stack then push that uh, element into minimum stack all right and the same element we have to push into uh, this original stack as well right element so we're gonna return the same value back now while performing the peak op operation peak is nothing but topest element of the stack so 
in this case we're gonna uh, we're gonna return because uh, in case of peak the original stack is the only one who is keeping the information of all the element in the uh, minimum stack we are only holding the minimum element of the stack minimum value of the uh, stack right but in original uh, stack we are holding all the elements that's why we're gonna take help of uh, original stack dot peak we're gonna return the same right where in case of your pop uh, pop is nothing but del del deleting the topest element from the stack so in this case firstly we're gonna check uh, in the original stack original dot pop right and it will return an integer value or removed element so this is the value which we are removing from the original stack now we have to verify whether this removed element is present into our minimum stack minimum sorry uh, minimum stack main stack sorry main main stack dot peak if the same element which we popped out from the original stack if it is present in the top of the minimum stack then you can do pop operation on this list also uh, minimum stack dot pop because we have to sync this uh, uh, value in the both of the stack that's why we are removing from both of the stack and here return removed element all right now in case of min element this is the main thing so how we are going to maintain min element as we have the main stack and the top of the main stack sorry main stack we will be having the smallest element which is very smaller compared to other element into stack if you compare this 5 right now till here this 5 is lesser than the, all the element when we reach to 2 right here 2 will be the top element into this minimum stack and this will be the minimum element in compared to all these element into original stack all right that is what we have done here so now let's test our this uh, snippet so for this we have to add we have to create the instance of this minimum element first stack new minimum stack sorry right now let's perform a push opener first stack dot push so as we discuss our first element will be 10 and the second will be 5 5 third will be 20 then 12 and then 2 right so we're gonna call uh, we're gonna call first peak operation to see what and all element we have on the top of stack peak element all right so peak we're gonna call by using stack dot peak all right so the same thing we're gonna perform for minimum stack as well minimum element so for minimum element we're gonna call another method which is nothing but min element and <coughs> yeah let's try so our top element is uh, as of now is Two, right and uh, yeah it should be top top element so our top element is 2 right and the minimum element which we have uh, extracted from the stack is 2 now let's perform let's try deleting this 2 right uh, top element and let's see whether our program is able to extract the uh, minimum element as 5 and the top element as 12 let let's perform the peak operation south deleting the element deleting the top element 
let's perform uh, stack dot pop and let's call the same set of method again all right now let's execute <coughs> so you can see uh, here it is returning top element as 2 that's correct because the last element uh, inserted element is 2 and then the man minimum element is also 2 right in this list we have uh, this 2 is the minimum element and then we perform the pop operation so pop is deleting the top element which is 2 right after deletion the top element which is 2 or uh, the top element uh, the newest new top element will be 12 and see this line is returning top element after performing the pop operation is 12 that's correct and now when we deleted this 2 right so the smaller uh, element into stack we have is 5 so our logic is returning 5 so our logic is working fine there are some edge cases needs to be handled like if your uh, minimum stack is empty in that case it should uh, throw a uh, stack underflow error if you are trying to insert something sorry if you if you are trying to delete something and the same case if you are trying to add something into stack so we have to see whether uh, both of the stack is empty in that case sorry both of the stack is uh, full then it should throw a uh, <coughs> uh, stack uh, overflow error so these are the edge cases but the main thing is how we are going to maintain this uh, minimum element to stack that is the main thing right that is the main logic which we need to discuss as a part of this tutorial so i think our logic is working fine uh, guys thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for another videos thank you